Welcome to this inaugural ICONICS webinar. I'm very excited to have you all here. Uh, my name is Bas van Ruyven. I work at IASA and I'm the co-chair of ICONICS, the International Committee on New Integrated Climate Change Assessment Scenarios. And before we start the actual webinar, I want to give you a quick introduction to ICONICS and the webinar series so you know what to expect. Um, ICONICS itself is, uh, was established during the SSP development process. And in the early days, it focused on the development of the SSPs, the development of narratives and the integrated assessment model quantifications together with the IAMC, the Integrated Assessment Modeling Consortium. Um, and more recently, after the SSPs were developed, uh, the focus has shifted towards uh, promoting the use and the further development of the SSPs and making sure that it is a living framework that doesn't become too static. Um, Iconics exists of a steering committee uh, of about 20 members at the moment with uh, four year terms for those members. Um, and the work actually happens within working groups uh, at the moment, we have two active working groups, one on awareness and guidance of the SSPs, one of the activities of the working group you are currently looking at this webinar, um, and on subglobal and sectoral extensions, and that is a working group promoting uh, the use of ex uh, extending the SSPs at different levels. Iconics is open to everyone that's interested in working with climate change scenarios. And if you are interested, please go to our website, iconicssp.org, um, to find out more information about the committee and um, resources to work with. So the Iconic Steering Committee, here's an overview of the people that we currently have in the Steering Committee. So Chris Ebay and myself are co-chairing the committee. Uh, and then we have 18 other uh, scientific members that help us to organize the community and promote the use of the SSPs uh, across the different uses of scenarios, right? Both on the mitigation and grid assessment modeling side, but especially also many people that work with the impacts and uh, adaptation community. So about these webinars, uh, the goal of the webinar series is to help create the community of users and developers of the SSPs by uh, giving a platform to have communications and um, discussions uh, within this community. And the audience that we aim for is researchers and students and everyone actually who works with, who uses and develops the SSPs, uh, both in the mitigation community and in the climate impact communities, and for that matter, also in the climate uh, modeling community. So across all of the IPCC work, And we envision to have a few different formats for these webinars, which you will uh, see coming your way over the next uh, months, hopefully. Um, so the shortest format that we have in mind is an instructional, instru instructional uh, webinar focused on a single topic, uh, mostly geared towards students or new community members to introduce people to the SSPs or specific aspects of the SSPs. Then we have research uh, webinars that uh, present a particular uh, piece of research or a new development. And um, the first of those is scheduled for the 6th of April, where we will uh, go more in depth on the uh, recent uh, paper uh, that was uh, published by Brian O'Neill on the, uh, uh, the synthesis of the scenarios forum in 2019 uh, and the achievements and needs of the scenarios framework. And then that paper actually highlights a number of future directions for the SSP framework. Some of these future directions might require discussions within the community. And uh, for those discussions, we envision this forum format you see here on the right, where it could be needed to have breakout groups and in-depth discussions and getting back uh, to plenary discussions to really make progress within the community on um, the directions to be taken uh, for the scenarios framework. Um, and we hope that in this way, we can make progress by not depending only on scenarios forum uh, 
conferences, but also have this webinar series to organize the community. So the inaugural session, actually the first one you are looking at now, after this introduction, we will uh, have um, instructive videos about the SSPs by Brian O'Neill, Chris Evi, and myself. And on the 6th of April, we have scheduled a first research webinar on the O'Neill et al. paper that synthesizes the outcomes of the scenarios form. And after that, we envision to have every four to six weeks a Iconics webinar, either on interesting research happening in the community or on uh, these improvements to the framework and proposals to improve the framework as put forward in the O'Neill et al. paper. And so if you have interesting research about the SSPs that you would like to share or which you would want to make an instructional video on, please uh, let us know and uh, we can uh, make you part of this webinar series. So without further ado, I will introduce now uh, Brian O'Neill, who will uh, give the first uh, presentation about uh, what the SSPs are in the RCPs and the scenarios framework, followed by Chris Evi, who will go into uh, extensions of the framework. And then I will come back for a presentation on the resources that you have to learn about and to work with the shared social pathway. 